Hi guys! Getting our ESP32 up and running with Toit using our web user interface is really simple. Just plug your ESP32 to your computer, pick the serial port, wait for the firmware to install, and just like that you're ready to start coding or run some examples from the code tab. However, if you're going to work on a little bit more complex projects, I recommend that you install our command line interface, or CLI, and the code editor of Visual Studio Code, along with its Toit extension. This video will show you how. Start by going to docs.toit.io. Click Get Started and then Download. Download the file that suits you best. I will grab the Windows version and install it to the standard directory. I will also use the default settings. After installation you can verify that the CLI is working by opening a command prompt and type toit. This should display a list of available toit commands. Next up is Visual Studio Code or VS Code. Follow the link at the Toit documentation page and download the version you need. Again, since I'm running Windows, I'll go for that version. After downloading VS Code, simply run the downloaded file and accept the license terms. I will install VS Code in the default directory and won't change any of the default settings. Now it's time to run the program. Once it's loaded, go to the Extensions tab and search for Toit. Install it and it should be up and running in a couple of seconds. To confirm things are working properly, open a file containing Toit code and verify that syntax highlighting is working. To see your ESP32 devices, open up a YAML file and head for the Toit logo to the left. Make sure you are logged on to Toit. To install this application on your device, simply hit the play button. If you subsequently press the log button on your device, the output from your application will show up in VS Code. Now it's time to get creative. If you have any questions or run into problems, don't hesitate to contact us.